summer 1940. Incapable of resisting the overwhelming advance of the German Blitzkrieg, Poland, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Holland and France are brushed aside within a matter of months, forcing the rest of the depleted Allied army to make a rapid, humiliating and shameful retreat towards the beaches of Dunkirk. Britain has become the only refuge in the face of the unstoppable advance of the Third Reich. While the German army is getting ready to invade the island, Allied command is desperately trying to come to terms with its situation. Its tactics, armament and commanders have proved antiquated in the face of the vastly superior German army. An urgent rethinking of the army is essential in order to turn the tide of the war. An audacious plan is approved for the creation of a special unit of elite men, experts in hand-to-hand -hand combat, in handling all types of weapons and explosives, men of great initiative, able to cope with and adapt to the most demanding conditions. Only the best, the most highly trained, only men of courage. Their mission, become the vanguard of the Allied troops, the spearhead of the counter-offensive that must lead to the defeat of the Third Reich. The commanders were born. We must clear this border post to allow our troops to pass through. If we get rid of the commanding officer, the rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up to the wires and swing along them to cross to the other side. I see a box. We'll probably find some interesting stuff in there. If you get the metal shears, bring them here and I'll cut through that fence and deactivate the mines. Okay, guys. This group of soldiers has been isolated from their squad. Let's see if we can offer them a hand. Or a knife. According to my notes, there's a radio in the little house. When the situation's under control, we'll use a radio to inform headquarters. I'd sure like to find out what's inside those boxes. We have intercepted a transmission. Is fast approaching your position. An enemy tank has received orders to exterminate you all. Defend your position and destroy that tank. In May 1941, after subduing the whole of Western Europe, the German army concentrates all its efforts in the war on Britain last bastion against the expansion of the Third Reich. Having failed in their invasion of the island nation owing to the superior power of the British Navy, the Germans are now concentrating on a war of attrition. Britain, isolated from the continent, depends on supplies, especially weapons and fuel which arrive from the other side of the Atlantic. These supplies are growing ever more scarce. The German submarine fleet, the Wolfpacks, hounds the Allied convoys, which suffer enormous losses. Located on the French coast, near La Rochelle, is the most important German submarine base. Constructed like a bunker, it is an impregnable fortress. Its piers, built under tons of reinforced concrete, are invulnerable to air attacks. It is the perfect base from which to carry out the deadly patrols. It is the U-boat's lair. Do you copy me? Go ahead, soldier. I am facing the front now, sir. Any change? Mm, they seem very agitated, more than expected, as if they were preparing for something. Mike. Hold on, sir. It looks like there's one of us in there already. I don't think he's gonna make it. General, sir, I hope this man wasn't my contact. No, your contact is a woman. Her name is Natasha. She's waiting in one of the outer buildings. Soldier, try to find out who this other intruder is. Yes, sir. 
Any last minute information about the target, sir? No. The Enigma machine should still be in the commanding general's safe. I'm sure there's no need to remind you of the importance of obtaining this machine, soldier. It's required to decode Nazi communications. No, sir. I am perfectly aware, sir. Over and out. I'm a member of the French Resistance. Oh. We must rescue them. Oh. I was trying to escape. Oh. <coughs> Take this. Here is everything oh. in the encrypted message. <coughs> Quite whiskey. <laughs> He's a friend. <laughs> you will have to decipher it <coughs> with the machine. <coughs> the Enigma. I don't have much time. <coughs> Look after my dog. <coughs> it will be of great help. <coughs> ah. Mind the fences. They're electrified. <coughs> if you need to cut them, you will find the deactivate switch in the nearby <coughs> room. <coughs> Look after whiskey! Oh, goodbye, boy! <laughs> General, sir, do you copy me? Go ahead. Sir, the Nazis have captured an Allied submarine and its crew, and are bringing it here. Good Lord! We must rescue them. We will send the rest of the commandos group to your position. They will arrive in the morning. They will need security papers. You must hide inside the base and wait. And your comrade, she better disappear as soon as possible. Tonight's events will arouse the suspicion of the senior members of staff, and we can't allow them to discover her. Good work, soldier. Over and out. Great. Nothing more appealing than spending the night surrounded by Nazis. Okay, let's go through the plan again. Sure. I deactivate the underwater mines. We get the keys to the prison. We rescue the prisoners, open the hangar door, and out we go. Outside? That's the problem. We are outside. I'm not worried about the mines. My concern is, how do we get inside? We were just thinking about you. Did you get the security papers? Yes, but you'll have to disguise yourself as an official and drive the others into the base with a vehicle. It seems to me that it is going to be as difficult getting in as it will be getting out. Hey, you guys, here's the good news. Do you have the whistle? Yes, we all have one. Good. You meet our new colleague. I'm sure the Green Beret will be over the moon. He's not with us. But we can call him using the radio later on. sinking of Allied ships by German submarines continues to increase, reaching the record number of 700,000 tons. In the freezing waters of the North Sea are the most dangerous for the Allied vessels. The area is under the constant patrol of German destroyers and submarines, which also count on the air support of units stationed in Norway, Denmark and Northern Germany. The Reich zealously protects these waters, doorway to their most important shipyards, ports and industrial installations in northern Germany. The British Navy imposing its superiority in the Atlantic and other European seas at the cost of the loss of hundreds of ships dares not venture into this deadly area. 
enormous blocks of ice in the minefields, as well as the continuous patrols by German U-boats and destroyers, make this area the nightmare of British seamen. <laughs> Good on you, Sapper. But without Arctic clothing, none of us will make it out alive in this cold. Thank you. Looks like rescuing me has become rather a habit. If we all get to the submarine alive, we can probably escape under the ice. We should disable the engine and the gun emplacement generators. I'm certain it'll be a lot easier to escape if we're not being fired on by that destroyer. Well done, men. You have done a great job to this point. It is of vital importance that the machine, codes, and the cylinders get here as soon as possible. Your journey by submarine will take too long. You should all escape in the submarine apart from the Green Beret and the Spy. The two of you must fly back here with the complete Enigma machine. Good luck, men. All of you. Thailand and Burma in a few weeks. Its next objective, India. The plan consists in launching a powerful offensive through the borders of Burma, advancing to Calcutta, there joining its forces landed on the southern Indian coast, thus trapping the Allies in a deadly pincer wound. The Allied High Command, settled on the plains of Imphal, knows the key to preserve India consists in stopping the Japanese offensive at the border. This is a heroic task, as the Allied troops are outnumbered and exhausted from months of defeats and withdrawals in the Asian continent. Cut off, with no hope of reinforcements in weeks, the only hope lies in a single battalion of the British Army, a group of mercenary fighters of Indian origin, fearful warriors known for their ferocity and courage in battle, the first battalion of the Gurkhas. Well, 
There have been quite a few changes around here. Indeed. But our objective hasn't changed since we left. And our escape route out of here is still moored and in position. This spiritual leader guy has to be a very important man for HQ to send us into the jungle to rescue him. He is. Remember, we have to neutralize the enemy commander too, when he eventually shows up. Have you located any local allied support? Uh, no trace. Those goikers are like ghosts, although we haven't checked the sewers yet. That would be nice. Are we going to wait here for the tyrant? Or shall we get going? We should get going. This heat's going to drive me insane. Okay then. Remember, not one scratch on our holy man. Once he's safe and we have armed support, we can take care of the tyrant and free this town. I am very happy to see you. To the youngest of you, I give a gift. He will be a loyal friend and help you greatly when difficult situations arise. The tyrant that has taken over this area will return if a Gurkha speaks to him using the radio. But he will not come alone. You must be prepared. Thank you again for your help. You will be blessed. <laughs> He's on his way. expansion in the Pacific continues. The Allied prisoners, numbering tens of thousands, are directed to prison camps where they are forced into slave labor in the most inhumane conditions. Many perish, victims of beatings, starvation, and epidemics. In Thailand, the prisoners from one of these camps are pressed into the construction of the Tamagam Bridge, which will complete the vital railway link to Burma, allowing for the movement of men and supplies to the interior of the its opening is ready for the 17th of June, with a special train of the Japanese High Command running along the whole railway line, ending with the crossing of the Tamaka Bridge. Bridge. Soldier, behind you. You've come to save us at last. Easy, fella. Or they'll hear us. Well, the fact is, we've come to blow up the bridge. But once we've blown the bridge to smithereens, our chances of rescuing you all will be greatly improved. Do you know where we can find explosives? Well, th there is some dynamite, and it's even attached to a basic detonator. It's in one of the huts. I don't know if it will do the job, though. It's a very strong bridge. Are there any weak points? I don't know. The only person who would is the Colonel, but he's in solitary confinement. No problem. We can cross the river and get him out of there. Be careful. There are crocodiles and piranhas in the river. We lost a lot of good men in this river. Really good men. <laughs> the only living thing they won't eat are the elephants. Thanks, soldier. It's best you get back to work so that we don't arouse suspicion. I wish you men good luck. You've come to blow up the bridge, haven't you? We worked so hard on it and lost so many men. I will feel sad when it is gone. But it must be destroyed. We've constructed a scale model of the bridge. Take me to it and I'll show you how to blow it up. Well, gentlemen, this is what you have to do. But make sure you do it right. There is a convoy waiting to cross the bridge. You should hide the trap 
by placing it with a group of barrels here. All you then have to do is to send a straightforward telegraph message informing the train that the bridge is complete and that it can now cross. When the train then crosses the bridge, the vibrations will set off the trap. achieve an important victory at Midway, breaking the Japanese advance in the South Pacific, as well as equalizing their naval forces with the destruction of four Japanese aircraft carriers. But in July 1942, Allied naval intelligence sounds the alarm. The Japanese have constructed an airfield on the largest of the Solomon Islands, Guadalcanal, from where they could continue their offensive. The Allied High Command draws up a plan to take the island codenamed Operation Watchtower, the largest amphibious assault since the beginning of the war. But there is an important obstacle in their way, the island of Sabu, located north of Guadalcanal. Strongly fortified, the island is bristling with heavy artillery, protected in underground tunnels, safe from the attack of bombers. In these conditions, any landing attempt at Guadalcanal would be a massacre. The island of Sabu is the key to Guadalcanal. Stop! We're close enough. We've come to destroy the cannons, not the other way round. Let's examine the map. Okay, aerial defense, coast guard, lookouts, AA guns. I'll need explosives. There's a munitions hut where we'll surely find something to your liking. Damn! I think they've seen us. There! Nah, I don't think he's an enemy. He looks more like a castaway. Yes, I agree. And he doesn't look good. We should go and see who he is. Okay, let's go. Uh, aye, sir. Oh, I'm Sergeant Wilson of the Light Brigade. Lancers Division. Serving under Her Majesty. Uh, uh, Queen uh, Victoria. Oh, I, d I don't remember my number. Did you bring tea? Oh, no. Oh, it's inexcusable. I've been waiting for a cup of tea for 20 years. Well, the last one that fell from the sky had no tea either. Ooh, now the demons have put him into soak. This island, you know, ooh, my island, it's full of demons, you know. They respect me, but they'll skin you alive if they catch you. Hide behind the vegetation, don't you know, and they'll not see you. Ooh, and you'll soon hear the thunders. There are thunders every day, you know, and you'll hear the thunders in the tunnels too, so you can't sleep. I'll help you with my trumpet if you can silence the thunders forever, you know. Ah, oh, I'm so happy to see you guys. I was shot down two days ago by this damn anti-aircraft gun. If you'll help me, I'd like to return the favor by taking you and your men off the island with the seaplane. They have tunneled under the island and have constructed a huge network of passages. There is the bunker with the anti-aircraft guns to the west and a communication room over the east hill. The official in charge is in there. He is the only one with the key to access the tunnels that will take us to the guns. Hey, it'd be a pity to leave the island without a souvenir. There's a chamber near the communications room where they keep a statue of a monkey made of solid gold. Once inside the chamber, I'm sure we could blow through the wall with explosives and take the statue with us, although it must be very heavy. The statue is like a symbol to the soldiers here. They believe they can't lose while they have it. Spring of 1944, Indochina remains a French colony but is actually under Japanese control. The Japanese have established important garrisons in the area. Indo 
China is an extremely important base as it supplies provisions to the Japanese Navy, which is in turn protected by a crushing air defense. They have also built military port installations, of which Haiphong is the most important. Nearby town has also been converted to serve as a diversion. Where are you guys? Are you not in the aircraft carrier? No, I think we're trapped. We're in the warehouse to the west. I'm certain that without your help, we are not going to get out of here. Try not to make any noise. I'll be there to rescue you soon. First, though, I have to meet my contact, the shopkeeper. He should be able to give me information on Natasha's whereabouts. I can't believe that you're going shopping instead of coming to save us. Well, I can't believe I trusted you when you said the sign outside said munitions depot. Well, by the looks of you, I'd say that this is for you. Don't worry, it's already paid for. If you're looking for the pretty girl, she's in the white building at the end of the street. Get her out of there. It's no place for a lady. We're going to have to find explosives to blow up the fuel tanks. The safest way is to destroy both sets of fuel tanks at the same time. We could gain entry to the base by hiding in the back of that truck. I can climb the crane in the port and get to the deck of the carriers that way. I can then drop a rope ladder and you can all get up there. Good. Let's go. There's much to do. The 6th of June has come. With the landings in Normandy, a third front is created and the European War of Liberation begins. The beaches of Juno, Omaha, Sword, Utah and Gold are witnesses to the disembarking of hundreds of thousands of men who form the first beaches. The next key objective is the taking of Sherman, which will allow the establishment of a permanent port to receive the necessary supplies and reinforcements to fortify the Allied positions and continue their advance on the continent. But the troops of the Wehrmacht and the command of Erwin Rommel, initially disconcerted by the surprise landings, are reorganizing to launch a decisive counterattack and push the Allied troops back to the sea. During the week of the 19th of June, violent storms hit the channel, which renders useless the Mulberry harbors established on the beaches of Normandy. The taking of Cherbourg is vital for the receiving of reinforcements and above all the armoured units with which to confront the German panzer divisions. At the Bocage of Normandy, the most desperate struggle of the Second World War is about to break loose.
I'm always waiting around for you guys. How rude. Hey, Sapper, what do you have to say to that? Well, I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to carry all this equipment. You would still be carrying your beer belly. <laughs> Silence. I'm trying to communicate with headquarters. We're in position, sir. Awaiting orders. As you know, we have sent you to Brittany in France to find and bring home a soldier of great importance to our war effort. Excuse me, sir. We're the best in the business. Leave it to us. Of course we are. But the town center looks like some sort of Nazi convention. It looks like army intelligence hasn't done its job. Again. Indeed. There are large groups of German soldiers and enemy snipers. I can send reinforcements if you want to wait. That's not our style, sir. We can do it ourselves. Well, what can you see? There's a group of Allied soldiers trapped in the church. Doesn't look like they're having a lot of fun. This is where we'll find our man. His name is Smith. In his final communication with us, he was in urgent need of medical assistance. We'll need to find a first aid kit. This looks like my kind of mission. River's Edge will be full of mines. That's what I do. We'll have to use the enemy resources too. We'll stay in contact via the radio, sir. Over and out. Good luck to you all. Over and out. Right. Come on, let's go. Give me room! Sie greifen an! Halt! Halt! Sie greifen an! Halt! Da ist Sie er an! an! Sofort hin! Hey. Keine Bewegung! Keine Bewegung! Halt! Da ist er an! Halt! Halt! Jetzt bist du fällig! Hey! Halt! Stehen bleiben! Halt! Hey! Halt! Da ist er lang! Halt! Die, die da ist er lang! Hey! Stehen bleiben! Uh, Keine Bewegung! We'll halt! Learn to say no. Da ist er lang! I'm glad to hear you're well. I wish I had better news for you. The enemy have fled the area but are regrouping outside the town. The enemy attack is imminent. And they will try to take the town center. Watch your back as it seems they have you surrounded on all sides. A column of armored vehicles are approaching from the north. You have to try to stop the tanks from crossing the bridge. If they do, make sure that's the last thing they do. A small town in eastern Germany, on the top of a hill surrounded by the river Mulde, rises the most impregnable fortress of the Third Reich, Golditz Castle. Now converted into a prison, it houses, as well as some high-ranking military personnel, those Allied prisoners who have tried to escape from other camps. Golditz is considered by the Germans a Sonderlager, a maximum security prison. Golditz is the pride of the German penitentiary system, reputedly escape route. But the Allied prisoners, the only way to leave Golditz is to die. One in position. Two in position. Three in position. In position. Okay, guys. Remember that once inside the castle, we mustn't set off the alarm or they'll kill our comrade. We have to get the three parts of the secret plan he was trying to steal which led to his capture. Okay. The plan is encoded in three different parts. First, there is an encrypted document which is in Major General Rudolph's possession. It comprises several sheets filled with numbers that appear to mean nothing. 
Secondly, the code template has been hidden by General Heinz. It is a template sheet with holes punched into it. It will only display the numbers of interest when placed over the encrypted document. Finally, we need the codebook to decipher the text of the plan. It is kept by Field Marshal Desfell. Remember that if we set off the alarm, they will not only kill our friend, but will also destroy all the documents. Okay, man. If we ever needed perfection, it's today more than ever before. This is what we do. Let's do it for our friend. Thank you. It's funny. I never thought I'd be happy to see your ugly face. Now we must free as many prisoners as possible. Let's disguise them in German uniforms, and then they should be able to escape unnoticed. The prisoners have a radio at the top of the bell tower that keeps them permanently connected with HQ. Green Beret, when we get the three parts of the plan, you will have to call HQ. Commando's calling from Colditz Prison. Can anyone hear me? Loud and clear. Go ahead. We've decoded a secret plan the Nazis have to destroy Paris. They're planning a focused attack on the Eiffel Tower. The orders we uncovered were to demolish the entire city prior to the Allied forces entering Paris. One moment. Stay where you are. Okay, chaps. This is far worse than we could have expected. We're sending you a rather unusual transport that will reunite you with the rest of your commandos team in a nearby aerodrome. There you will find an aeroplane that will take you to Paris. You must avert this catastrophe. Good luck. August 1944, three months after the landings of Normandy, more than half of France is under Allied control. On the morning of August the 19th, General Eisenhower sends the French 2nd Armored Division with the support of American troops to liberate Paris. After four years of occupation, the dream of millions of Frenchmen is about to become true. But Hitler has different plans. His orders are clear. Paris must only fall into enemy hands as a heap of rubble. General Dietrich von Schulitz, commander of the occupation troops in Paris, is in charge of its demolition. From his headquarters in the Hotel Maurice, he oversees the labors of the German 813th engineer corps that has planted tons of explosives in the city. Well, here we are. According to Natasha, the trigger is inside the General's office. We must contact her as soon as we can. I agree. She's waiting for us over there. I'm the only one that can defuse the bomb. We'll cover your back. Oh, I can see combat vehicles up there. I suppose they wouldn't mind if we borrowed one. If I only had some mines. Those vehicles would be ancient history. Well, let's go and get some. There is no time. We will need to find the key in order to be able to enter the tower. The SS commander of this area always carries it with him. We knew you would do it. Congratulations.
By the end of World War II, the Commando Corps was the most decorated unit of the Allied forces. Eight Victoria Crosses, 37 Distinguished Service Orders, 162 Military Crosses, 32 Distinguished Conduct Medals, and 280 Military Medals. In the darkest days of 1941 and 1942, the Commandos were the Allies' only offensive units. The many operations behind enemy lines all over Europe did much to boost the flagging morale of the British troops and spread fear amongst the German occupying forces. From 1943 onwards, they were the spearhead of the Allied offensive. They were the first to set foot on the beaches of Sicily, Anzio and Normandy, and to cross the Rhine for the final assault. To be a commando meant taking more risks than anyone else. The commandos were all volunteers, able to return to their previous units at any time, if you asked to do so. More than two-thirds of them lost their lives during the war, the worst losses of any operational unit. Comradeship, self-sacrifice and loyalty are always examples to other troops. The free world was a permanent debt to these soldiers, who contributed decisively to the defeat of the Third Reich, forging a legend of one of the best combat units in history, the Commando Corps.